forgot to put like a magic filter on to stop me looking really tired and haggard. But never mind. Very impromptu live today. I put very little thought into it, so I hope it doesn't come across as too manic. But basically, it's, it's crazy busy here at the cake school at the moment. Um, we've got loads of classes running. I've got loads of other work going on. And I'm just finding it really tricky to manage to film YouTube content. So I thought instead of waiting for YouTube, I thought why not do a Facebook Live? And then for YouTube, I can just chop this up and re-edit it and they can watch this. So thank you to everyone who has joined me. Apologies for the complete lack of notice. But as I said, today is mainly about having a bit of a catch up. And then as I said in the post earlier, I've had a few deliveries that I haven't got around to opening yet. So I thought we'd open them together. And then that way, if you have any questions about any of it, you can let me know. So we've got some stuff here from Shireen's Cakes and Bakes, which I'm very excited about. If you follow her, you might know what it is. Um, a couple of bits that are like regular deliveries, but things that I love and I want to share with you anyway. And then of course, we have these. Now, most of you probably already know that I am a Kenwood brand ambassador and the school itself is a Kenwood brand partner and they very kindly have sent me some new products to use here in the school. And of course, I want to share them with you guys as well. One of them I have used before when I did a road show with them, and one of them is absolutely brand new and I haven't even seen it in person yet. So I'm very excited about that. So the first thing we've got here, as I said, is from Shireen's Cakes and Bakes. And if you follow Shireen, you will know that she is the person that makes those fantastic flexible smoothers that I use on all my cakes. Um, but she has launched some new products recently and in here we've actually got a few of them. So this is what's in the box, including a thank you card. So what we've got first of all are these things and I've been really excited about these because if you ever saw my Mr Onion cake which I made on, gosh, nearly two years ago now, um, I basically had to kind of almost bodge some of these myself and then Shireen has made some proper ones and they're basically rolling pins or impression pins that allow you to add texture in the form of like cord corduroy to your to your icing there's three different sizes so there's this size this size and then a really small one that looks like this and it was kind of this sort of size that I used when I was making Mr Onion in fact I can show you him because he's over there wait there this cake here. So if I bring it a bit closer, hopefully you can see the top part has got this lovely cord texture to it. And this would have made my life so much easier. So as I say, if something like this would be of interest to you, Shireen's Cakes and Bakes, I have linked her in the post with this already. So do go and check her out. But the thing I'm most excited about is this. And what this is, is a shoe kit. So we've all made shoes before. And again, right there, I can get some. I promise the whole video isn't just gonna be me running off to get things. But so like little tiny cake topper shoes, we love them, I love making them. But what Shireen has done is produced a kit that allows you to make all sorts of different baby shoes, boots, etc., with all the pieces being able to be cut out using cutters. I don't know if you can kind of see them. But yeah, everything you kind of need for all sorts of different shoes is in this one kit. And Shireen has been making tons and tons of shoes and posting them on her social media. Um, and they are adorable. And I'm so excited to sit down and have a play with this. I can kind of imagine myself becoming essentially just a, a shoe making person now because they're so cute. And then she very kindly also popped in this kit. Again, I'm bringing it a bit closer. And those of you that have been making cake decorations for a while, we'll probably recognize these shapes as the sort of shapes you need to make ballet slippers. So if you're doing one of those cakes with the ballet shoes on top, point shoes, I think I did one of those nearly 10 years ago. But these are the cutters that you would need to make those. Instead of having to worry about templates and printing them out, cutting them out and going around them with your craft knife, this kit and this kit are gonna make life a lot easier for us all. So again, if you fancy picking up any of these, I've linked Shireen's Facebook page in the video description, so do head to that and check it out. And um, yeah, stay tuned because I will be having a play with these very soon and making lots and lots of adorable shoes. As I say, I have a couple of kind of like regular deliveries that come in from these companies. You could be forgiven for thinking this is chocolate, 
it's not chocolates. They've just repurposed a box. This one has actually come from a company called Cake Tools Direct. If you haven't heard of them, they make various different things for cake decorating. Um, they do cake dowels, which are recyclable plastic. And I've been using them for a while now. In fact, there is a picture on this leaflet. They're called the cake support pin. And they look like that. And in fact, oh, there's something, no, there's not, I haven't got any on this order. But what I have got on this order is something that I've started using more and more, which are their plastic cake drums. As I say, they're plastic and they're kind of hollow, but they've got little feet so that the whole thing is supported. But what I love about these is when I'm making, say, a buttercream cake or a chocolate ganache covered cake, rather than a fondant or sugar paste covered cake, this means I don't need to cover the board because it's already nice and clean and beautiful rather than a traditional silver foil board or the masonite boards or what have you. These ones are also great because being plastic, they are recyclable, but they're also dishwasher safe too. So when I'm making cakes for family, when I'm making cakes for uh, just to promote classes and things like that, these are great because I can make my cake on here and then once I'm done, I can serve the cake up, pop this back in the dishwasher, and then it's ready to use again. So we absolutely love these. Quite a few of the classes here at the school use them and the students take them home and get to keep them to use again and again, which is cool as well. And they're only £1.20 each. So if you're somebody who buys your cake boards at the last minute because you've forgotten, like I often do, you can pay £2, £2.50, even more than that in the supermarket £1.20 and you can use it again and again and again. So Cake Tools Direct, I haven't typed them, but what I'll do after the video is head down to the description and uh, to the comments and I'll put their link in there because we love these, absolutely fantastic things. So this one is from a company called Olba. I think you can just about see their logo there. Um, if you're active on Instagram, you have probably seen this company before because they are all over Instagram and they've uh, partnered up with loads of influencers. But I started buying their boxes. Sorry, yes, they make cake boxes. I started buying their boxes after seeing a few people using them on Instagram because they do super tall cake boxes. You can see they come in a really nice flat box and they are very, very well packaged. So if I show you, that's what it looks like inside. And then underneath that, there is instructions of how to fold them together. But what I love about these is they just have that really kind of nice professional finishing touch to your cake. So rather than open them, I've gone and got one out of the cupboard and they come in three parts. So you've got a base and a lid, which are essentially the same. And then you have got the sides. Now they can be quite tricky to assemble, which is why they put instructions in the box and I'll be honest, the first time I did it, I had to watch a YouTube video as well. But it's, it's kind of like origami. You basically have to fold in all the sides and then tuck the corners under the side flaps. I don't think you can see the work bench, the island in front of me, so sorry for that. But I'm basically just going around that square and folding all those edges in, like so. And then these corners get folded Everything's uh, kind of already pre-folded, by the way, but they get folded and then tucked underneath one of the flaps. And then you basically work your way around doing that over and over again, like so, ideally on a flat surface. And then when you get to the last side, just tuck the two sides down and they kind of grip each other. Can you see that in the corner? and hold it flat. Now I'm doing a very rush job here, but I'll be honest with you, I tend to always do this in a bit of a rush because I don't remember to get them ready in advance of my classes. So I then have eight people who have finished their cakes and are waiting for boxes, and I have to do this 16 times. So fold over, tuck in the flap, fold, tuck, double fold, double tuck, there you go, that was better. And there's the other one of those. So then what you do is you pop 
pop one down on the surface and you put your cake inside, just in this, and then you grab your sides. Now you'll see it's got a window in it, which we already love. We then pop this open, like so, and then we put it around our cake. And then the lid goes on, and you end up with a box that looks like this. And as you see, as you can see, the, the window means you can see what's inside. It's really nice and tall. So this is perfect for like a two tiered cake, a three tier if you've only got quite short tiers, or in my case, one of my really tall one tier cakes, but with loads of stuff on top. Um, they're not the cheapest, um, but I do have for this one a discount code. So if you do want to pick some up, they're Olba, O-L-B-A-A, and you can save, I think it's 10% on these if you use code Mr. Baker. Now I will point out, this isn't an affiliate code. I don't make any money if you buy these. It is purely just a code so you can save money. So if you fancy picking some of these up, go to their website and it's code Mr. Baker to save 10%. So that's those. This one I have been really excited about. Um, it actually arrived a couple of weeks ago and I know that Kenwood have sent it out to all of their brand ambassadors because I've seen other people posting about it already. But this is the Kenwood Multi Pro Go food processor. And it's kind of USP is that it's really small and convenient because I don't know about you, but I've got quite a few food processors. And by the time you've got all the attachments and everything that go with them, they take up so much space, particularly in the school where, of course, we need big ones because we're preparing a lot of ingredients. Now, I've never looked in here before. You are opening the box with me live. But inside we have got the user manual, always helpful. We're going to pretend that I read those in advance. And then everything is very well packaged. And what I'm loving is this isn't polystyrene because Kenwood products used to come in polystyrene. Now we have cardboard. So props to Kenwood. And then we've got that piece and this piece and that seems to be it. And this is kind of what it looks like. So it's very small, very compact. And then we've got two different attachments. Now I'm gonna open the user manual, which as I say, I wouldn't normally do. But it says in here, we have got the pusher, feed tube, lid, knife blade. Oh no, sorry, knife blade. That's the grating and slicing disc. We've got the bowl. There you go, so there's that bowl. And then there's also this one here. And so what this one does is it basically allows you to, for example, grate and then everything comes out the side. So if I was doing something like making my carrot cakes, recipes in my book, if you haven't uh, tried them, you could pop that attachment on, put your grater on top, lid goes on, it's quite intuitive, I'm figuring it out. And then as it grates, this extra piece in here is gonna push the grated stuff straight out of this spout so I can have a bowl here ready. And again, if I'm preparing grated carrots for a whole class full of people, that's a lot of carrots. So being able to do it non-stop without having to stop, empty the bowl, carry on, empty the bowl, carry on, is going to be incredibly useful for me in particular. But again, that is all of the attachments there. So I haven't got 50,000 different things. If essentially all you want is a simple food processor that is gonna chop, that is gonna slice, that is gonna grate, this is absolutely perfect. And I am very grateful to Kenwood for sending it over. It's also got kind of grippy feet, so it's not gonna move around on the worktop. And essentially it has pulse or continuous speed as well. So we haven't got loads of different power. What does this tag say? So 360 express serve, limitless slicing, grating, direct to your plate and pan, ultra compact size, ready to go in your kitchen drawer, power to handle it all, make salsa and snacks to pizza dough, Stack and store, all of your food prep done in one go. And yeah, that was the Kenwood Multi Pro Go food processor. So that's what it looks like on their branding there. And if you'd like to see it in action, let me know. We can always do a video where we make something like my carrot and orange cupcakes using this and see how we get on with it. Because it's all well and good looking at it. Yes, it's very pretty, but how does it work?
So yeah, head to the comments, let me know if you'd like to see a YouTube video or a Facebook video where we put this to the test. And again, thank you very much to Kenwood for sending it over. Our last up is the very big box over there. And again, this one has been out for a little while. So I have used one of these before, although not this one here. And this particular unit has been used. It went to a roadshow. I don't know if it was the roadshow that I was at. Who knows? We could have been reunited. But this is the Kenwood Titanium Chef Baker XL Stand Mixer. Those of you who've been following me for a long time will know that I already have the Kenwood Titanium Chef Patissiere XL, which is the one that has the, the, the bowl heating elements that you can do things like lemon curd, melt chocolate, tempered chocolate, proof bread doughs and things like that. But this one is designed much more with us bakers in mind. Now clearly, as I say, this one's a slightly older model because we've still got the, the polystyrene in here rather than the, the cardboard. But as we open the box, right at the top, we've got our splash guard. Slide this over. We have got the balloon whisk. And you can see the balloon whisk is huge. It's much bigger than the one with your standard st stand mixer. Anything else loose? Yep. So in here, we also have the creaming beater. And again, if you've watched my content before, you will know this is my absolute favorite attachment for all of my Kenwood products because what it does as it mixes is it scrapes the sides of the bowl and it scrapes the bottom of the bowl. So you're not constantly having to stop and scrape around with a spatula. So even if you don't have one of these mixers, I highly recommend getting one of these for the mix you do have because they make your life so much easier. K-beater, of course, our standard attachment. And then I imagine somewhere in here, it's very big, there it is. Oh. It's the dough hook. So that's what we use when we're making our bread doughs, of course. So those are your four attachments that you should find inside. The creaming beater, the K beater, the balloon whisk, and the dough hook. And that's kind of standard across the, like, the more high-end Kenwood mixers. So the standard standard is your dough hook, K beater, and your whisk. But in the kind of the more expensive ones, you also get that creaming beater included although it is available for all of the other products too. I've got it for the K-Mix, I've got it for the Kenwood Chef, like the old Kenwood Chef, I've got it for the new Kenwood Chef. So yes, they are available. And then, obviously the most important bit, I take these out, we have the mixer itself. So kind of the, the USPs, the unique selling points, are I nearly fell over, of this mixer in particular are, first of all, and it's big, it's an XL. So if I hold it up, it is a lot bigger than your typical kind of Kenwood Chef, Kenwood K-Mix. The bowl is, it's seven liters. So if you think, I believe the Kenwood Chef is 4.6. So it's a much bigger bowl. But that's your, your seven liter. But what it also comes with is a second bowl, which is a five liter. So you've got the two. What's great about that is you can make your cake mix and then without having to stop and do the washing up, you can make your butter cream. And they fit inside each other for storage, which is a nice touch and is also true of the titanium as well. Titanium, the patissiere. Then the mixer also has, if I lift it right up now, imagine if I drop this on camera. Can you see down here, we have got built-in scales as well. So that means that as you're making your, your cakes, your buttercream, you can literally have your bowl on there and you can be weighing your ingredients straight into the bowl. So you're not having to use separate utensils, dirty more things, and then transfer them in. Now, there's one more thing about this particular mixer that is new and that got me quite excited. And that is, I think you can just about see this, you can pop off the top and replace it with other tops. So you can customize your mixer. Although the main mixer is this kind of titanium gray color, you can customize your mixer using different colored inserts. So there's a selection of the colors that are available, but I was sent a very special one. And as I said, I'm very excited about this. 
but it is this one here. And so it's got the Progress Pride flag on it, which I think is absolutely fabulous because it means that when I have this mixer on display here in the cake school, it's going to send a very direct message to everyone that comes here that everyone is welcome and everyone can feel safe and supported while they're here. So I think that is an absolutely lovely touch. And I have to say again, a massive, massive thank you to Kenwood for sending this over because I think it's going to be a stunning addition to the Mr. Baker's Cake School kitchen. But again, if I hold it up so you can see it, that's what it looks like in all of its glory with its customized top. And that was the, I'm reading it, the Kenwood Titanium Chef Baker XL Stand Mixer. So if you're in the market for a bigger mixer, perhaps you make um, large, backs, ba large batch bakes, then do check this one out. As I say, I have used it before um, when I did a Kenwood Roadshow. It's a lovely, lovely piece of kit. And of course, it's as sturdy as you would expect from a Kenwood product. I kind of skimmed over them, but obviously you can see it has all the standard attachments for extra products as well. So you can get your food processor attachment, you can get your blender attachment at the front here. You can have things like your mincer, your pasta roller, your pasta cutter, all of those extra attachments still completely compatible. And it's just very pretty. Again, as you would expect from Kenwood products. Only reason I partner with Kenwood is because I love Kenwood products and I started using Kenwood because my grandmother used Kenwood before me. So integrity is very important to me. I wouldn't recommend them if I didn't genuinely love them. So yes, I would happily recommend any Kenwood products. And don't forget, if you ever have any problems with your Kenwood mixers, you can contact them and they will help you. Um, they have a whole kind of building on their campus, just down the road from here actually, where they service and look after machines for people, including really, really old machines, like the old classic ones that our parents and grandparents grew up using. So yeah, don't panic if you have any problems, get in touch and they will be happy to help you, I'm sure. And as I said, actually, so that's the creaming beater for the Kenwood Chef. So I bought this one separately to add to that mixer, but you can see it's, significantly smaller than this, the, the new one. That's the creaming beater for the K-Mix. So you can see they're slightly different shapes. This one's kind of pointier. I don't know if that shows up on camera. It was, and, and that one's more rounded. But yeah, so highly recommend these. Now again, if you would like to see this in action in a video, then do let me know. Quite happy to do that. As I say, it's going to be used regularly anyway. And I do plan to do more Facebook Live content now that everything kind of internet wise here is sorted between you and between you and i it took gosh, i want to say about six months until we could get the internet installed here so i've been doing a lot of my work tethered to my phone on my computer but we did have the internet going a few weeks ago and fingers crossed it it's working perfectly we haven't had anyone say that i'm buffering or cutting out so, as I say, I would like to do more live content now here from the school. So again, if you'd like to see this in action, if you'd like to see the food processor in action, if you'd like to see the shoe cutters in action, then let me know and I will make sure I get that scheduled in for you. If nobody has any questions, then I'm gonna wrap things up there. If you watch later or a question occurs to you later, feel free to pop it below the video. I can always come back and answer it by writing, by uh, typing and yeah that's it so thank you for joining me thank you for giving me some of your time on this gray and rainy thursday afternoon it's probably snowing where you are isn't it i'm so jealous of everyone who's got snow at the moment but anyway yeah thank you so much for joining me and i will see you all very soon until then as always take care and happy baking